He's an NPC chairman, I believe, in North Carolina. He has forbidden. Forbidden. The local goals gym for having any anything to do with our show. Which to me is what's wrong with bodybuilding and as a whole. How could we possibly hurt the great and almighty NPC? A little show with like 25, 30 people gonna hurt a conglomerate like the NPC. Maybe if Mike, maybe I could call Mike, my buddy Mike Halsey, and have him talk to his cousin, Mike Valentino. I gotta tell you too, I've been going to that gym, the Gold's Gym, probably for really as long as they've been in existence. My father's a member there. I wish there was a gym. You guys know me. You support me, I support you. They don't support me. I go somewhere else, but I refuse to go to an Anytime Fitness, a Snap Fitness. Uh, so if there's another gym down there, I will find it. And we'll use them for our home gym. But that's the craziest in the world. So let's just talk about politically behind that. They have a lot of people in the gym that are going to do the show. So who makes money? Gold's Gym. Who else makes money? The trainers? Who gets pumped up about working out? Gold's Gym's members? Who gets an influx of new memberships? Because of our show, it gets people pumped up because they're just like, wow, I want to do that. Gold's Gym? Something doesn't seem right there. So, we really gotta do what we gotta do. Nothing I can do about other people's decisions, no matter how silly they may be. Because obviously our little organization down in North Carolina with 25, 30 people, not gonna hurt anything. It's only gonna help them. And where are the people gonna work out when they go down there for the weekend? Gold's Gym? Where do I work out when I go down on vacation? For the past 15 years, 20 years? Gold's Gym? So you can hear my sarcasm in my voice, my displeasure in their decision. But you know what? I don't care. Because we'll show we'll go on. We'll do what we have to do. The last time you'll hear me bashing Gold's Gym, and I'm not bashing people at Gold's Gym in Moorhead City, North Carolina. Brand new location, I'm not bashing them. Just bashing the politics of the MPC. People that know me know my issues with the MPC. But I'm not, I mean, this is basically it. Poor decision. But when we come back next year to Moorhead City, what's gonna happen? We'll show up with 50 people, 60 people. Then what are they gonna do? Will it be a good idea then to be involved? So Mike Valentino, you're a businessman. You own a lot of goals. I only own one little small gym, Pure Focus Sports Club, 163 Vans Isle Road. Maybe you should come here. Maybe you can come here with your buddy Mike. My buddy Mike, I believe he's your cousin or somehow you're related. Somehow or another, or maybe something like that. You have some kind of relationship with my buddy Mike Holden. So, maybe you should really see what it's all about. About getting people involved. About fair judging. About drug testing. Well, season drug testing. About no politics. Level playing field. Making the sport better. Are you doing what the sport needs to make it better? No. Are you being a bully? Pushing? Pushing the little guy around? Yes. So, say what you will. I know a lot of people in that area dying to do the show. A lot of your members. Are you gonna cancel the memberships if they do the show? I don't think so. Are you gonna make money from the show? Yes, you will. Do I use your gym when I come down on vacation? Yes, I do. Do I feel like I was treated fairly? ethical, with courteous behavior? No, I don't. But what am I going to do? That's the way the sport is. I don't, who am I to argue your decision? So I'll move on. I know your GM was very excited. Well, I'm not going to move on yet. Your GM was very excited to be involved. 
Then I get an email, she can't help it anyway. You can't stop us. You can't tell us not to do the show. You can't put an injunction on us. So the show is gonna go on. Whatever you try to do to, to make it harder, I don't care. So just so you know, we'll be there. I'm not promising a big show. I want 25, 30 people. A place where the local businesses can get together. I already have a few sponsors. People can get together, have a good time. Oh, by the way, Mike. It's for charity. Proceeds. Not only did I donate $500 to the West Carter High School, I'm also giving all the proceeds to the North Carolina Coastal Federation. Wouldn't that be a good thing for the NPC to be involved in? Gold's Gym to be involved in? Or how about, how about this, Mike? Why don't you, whatever money we donate, how about you match it? Since you won't be involved, and it's not about money to me, why don't you match it, Mike? I'll tell you how much it is. I'll show you the check. I'll make you a copy of the check. Because I'm not doing it for the money, Mike. I'm doing it for the people. I'm doing it for the competitors. I want them to have a good time. So that's what I'm doing it for. I'll tell you how much the check is. I'll make a copy of it. You match it. And I won't bash you again. I don't know. Is that blackmail? Is that extortion? No, I don't know. I'm just trying to do a good thing. And you don't want to be part of it. Gold's Gym, North Carolina, does not want to be part of a good thing. It's a charity for the North Carolina Coastal Federation, which I believe is where all your gyms are located. I think you might have some in South Carolina. So, that's my offer to you. My olive branch to you is to match my donation. $500 to West Carteret High School, which is where your members go to high school. And I want you to match the donation to the North Carolina Coastal Federation. That's all, I don't think it's asked much. You have, you own like seven, eight gyms. You own one in New Bern. That's by water too, isn't it? I think water really impacts that town. Jacksonville, I think Wilmington, there's water all over the place. So, that's my olive branch to you. Match my donations and I'll lay off. Nothing more you can do to me. I don't compete in the NPC anymore because I was blackballed already, so you can't hurt me there. I'm just a little, I'm just a little natural organization, so what are you gonna do to me? Not let me work out your gym? Which would be really silly if you did that. Not a good business decision if that happens. But I'm hoping we can work this out. If you wanna come, Mike, I'll also give you a free VIP pass. You can sit right behind the judge's table. I'll leave a ticket in your name. Just like that one baseball player leaves a ticket for, or a football player leaves a ticket for Elvis at every, at every show, or every uh, football game he goes to. I'm gonna leave you a ticket with your name on it. Mike Valentino, Gold's Gym owner. That's it, Mike. I'm not gonna talk about you anymore. Just trying to show you some reason. It's a good thing for you, good thing for Gold's Gym, it's a good thing for the people of North Carolina, specifically the people of Eastern Carolina that are surrounded by water, where that money gets donated to for the environment. Just throwing that out there, Mike. If you want to call me, number is 732-213-6537, or you can email me, krb46 at comcast.net. Maybe we can work this out. All right, I'm done. Actually, that turned in from the desk of the AMBF Press. I'm really a nobody, Mike, so, you know, I'm just the president of a small natural organization, nothing like the NPC. Just somebody trying to do a good thing to make it better. So if you see this mic, you want to talk, I'll be more than happy. If not, it's fine too. The show will go on with or without your support. So, what can I say? So, that's it. I'm headed up to go see my buddy Mike Lepowski up in Irvington, New York. Go talk about the AMBF, just hang out with some competitors. Go check out Terrytown and see where I can hand out my flyers. You guys all have a good day. It's kept really live. Here from the Sports Club from the desk of the AMBF Res. Stay focused.